Okay, 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 gang. Today, I'm gonna be breaking down this Clayco Destroy Lonely type of sample beat. I don't even know if it's really in that style. This shit's just Ascension or some shit. I don't even know. Just kind of hard. You guys heard the beat in the preview. Just very different. But I guess it is inspired by Clayco. You know, sampled the piano, added my own melodies type shit. I, I could feel lonely on this, you know? I could feel somebody on this shit. So, I'm gonna start off, you know what I'm saying? And we're gonna get right into it so first things first grabbed a sample from youtube soma soundtrack these end credits found it again in that dark playlist that i showed you guys from the last video if you didn't watch the last video fuck you now what we got picked up the sample we we'll put it in tunebat tunebat is a really good website you find the key you find the bpm and you're good you just fuck around stretch the sample and get it on time so now with the sample i picked this part it was a lower bpm i believe 110 now it's 128 stretched it out got it in time of course and here's what it sounds like all right so next what i did found this other part of the sample same effects same everything and here's what it sounds like just a different part of the sample for the intro So yeah, you heard that very angelic, very dark and sad, you know what I mean? So what I did with this now, made it unique, brought it out over here and I reversed it. So I got that same part of the sample, reverse it. And then what I did when I reversed it is the order was backwards. So this was over here. This was also over here, this over here, that over here. So what I mean by this, for example, you cut here, you cut here, you cut here, wherever the chords play, obviously, and you just... You grab this, you move it to the front, then you move this one, then the other one, and so on. And you just get that same chord progression that you would have when it wasn't reversed. So, those are the sample chops that I use. The rest are my melodies. The very first thing I did when I got the sample was picked up this expand solo violin and played these chords. Also, before I forget, the effects on the melodies, just this EQ for the intro, kind of just cuts out everything. You heard it already in the intro. And then for the reversed part, we have this EQ. Yeah, those are all the effects for the melodies. I did also have an EQ on the first part, just cutting out lows, and yeah. All right, back to the violin. Here's what that sounds like. With the chords for this, I just really played around until something sounded right. And this descending top line melody right here of the chords just sounded really good with the overall melody. And then over here, these chords are really, really simple, but they go well with the piano. And for the effects on the violin, literally just an ambience turned down to 30%, the default preset. Okay, gang. Now what I pulled up next, this Ray of Hope lead out of Hive and just played out this little soft ass uh, melody. Here's what it sounds like. Yeah, so as you can tell, a lot of delay and that like sparkly sound is really cool. That's why I use this sound in Hive. For the effects on it now, I got a Shaper Box 3, Frogger's Revenge to turn down to how much percent is this? 21% effect tricks with nothing on it, so that's not on. And then the Ambience with 2%. I don't know if that does anything, but it's on. All right, next, got this Chamber Tin preset in Hive. It's in Keys and Classic. Here is what it sounds like. Sorry for the crackling, my CPU is ass, but we got this Shaper Box Pad Duck on it for effects. Again, just a really simple ass melody, just a little nice accent melody. And that is it for all the melodies. And now for the drums, started out with this clap. Motherfucker bitch, very simple clap pattern. Now, pulled up these hi-hats and put this pattern down.
nothing insanely crazy just some rolls and then we got these little i guess accents that are down an octave and also please fuck with the velocity of your hi-hat rolls you could leave them sometimes that sounds good but i like to fuck with them most of the time so here see it's coming up going up going down it just sounds better and adds variation now next pull up this one step hi-hat it's literally the same hi-hat and i played with the velocities on this one just going up and down here is what that sounds like Again, just really simple. Um, adds a lot of speed to the melody, I guess, and like to the beat itself. So yeah. Next, pull up this snare. And next, I got this 808 pattern. Just really simple. Here's what it sounds like. Last drum sound, this open hat pattern. And yeah, that's the whole beat. Really, Clayco sound selection is insane. So for these beats, you gotta choose the right sounds and you gotta choose the right samples so everything will go together. And yeah, the samples really make it break these beats if the samples like not fitting with the other sounds shit like that it's not gonna be good so my advice pick stuff that goes together so like pianos can easily go together with violins um dark paddy type of melodies eerie stuff bells arps could work yeah just be experimental you know what i mean but yeah it is very Clayco inspired uh destroy lonely i could definitely see him on this maybe even some other artists just really epic ascending type of beat and um yeah that's all love you gang bye bye